If one of your goals this year is to purchase a new home, then this video is for you. Hi everybody, my name is Marianne Knowles. I'm with Team Knowles Tampa Bay at Likely Real Estate and let's get into it. First and foremost, let's talk about credit. If you are planning on getting a mortgage, you are going to have to have your credit fine-tuned. So if you do need to speak to a lender, I'm happy to refer somebody over to you. They're willing to deep dive into things to see if your credit needs any repair. Maybe you need to increase your points. Maybe you need to open up another line of credit. Again, if you speak to somebody early, you have the months to fix these issues and have it ready for when you are planning to purchase a home. Secondly, is to make sure that you're saving money for your down payment. Now, there's a lot of misconception where people think that you have to put down 20% in order to have a down payment. The average first time buyer puts down about 6%, but it's still a good chunk of change to save. So if you start early enough, you'll have that time to purchase later. The third thing, and probably the most important, when you have spoken to a lender and when you have done the things, if you needed to do anything like repair your credit, you need to get a pre-approval letter. It is so important. I've had so many customers in the past that have fallen in love with the home and they still haven't gotten the pre-approval letter. And by the time they did get one, that house had gone under contract. So make sure you have your pre-approval letter. Think of it as a golden ticket. An agent or myself wouldn't be able to submit your offer without it. And if we did, it really wouldn't be taken seriously. That pre-approval letter submitted with your offer lets the seller know that you have gone through the motions and that you do qualify for a loan. Then when you are actually looking for a home, make sure you're categorizing what's important to you. I always tell my customers, you're definitely going to have your must-have list. Those are gonna be things that have to be a priority when you purchase this home. Maybe it needs to be close to your work, maybe it needs to be close to a certain school or a certain neighborhood. So make sure that you categorize the things that are important and then you're gonna have those things that maybe you want, but we all know at the end of the day that finding the perfect home is really like a diamond in the rough. So as long as you categorize what you know you need, that's a good start. And lastly, this is so important, but if you are very serious about purchasing a home, and if you are planning on getting financing, and if you do have a lender that you're working with, it's very important to keep him or her in the know of all of the things that you are doing. Even if you're changing jobs, even if you're moving money, all of the little things you want to make sure that you're letting your lender know, because if your offer does get accepted, that lender will need to put everything in underwriting and need to explain why things have happened the way that they have, why you changed your job, why you moved your money around, why you're having gift money given for a down payment. So it's very important to have communication with your lender. So these are just a few things, but really it's early in the year. You have plenty of time if you are planning on purchasing later. Most importantly is checking your credit and obtaining that pre-approval letter. But if you have any questions in the meantime, please feel free to reach out. You know, I'm always happy to help. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Take care.